December 3rd, 2009 was the dedication date of the newly completed Buena Park Police Department at City Hall on 6650 Beach Boulevard. The dedication of the new 66,000 square foot police department building marks a very important year of growth for the city of Buena Park. With several new city building projects completed in 2009, such as the new Heritage Hall, the grand new entrance at the Senior Center, and the Veterans Memorial at the entrance of the Senior Center, all of which are at the Ehlers Community Recreation Center property on Knott Avenue. The new Police Department Headquarters is a modern, state-of-the-art two-story facility that complements the new City Hall facility. And as City Manager Rick Warzynski said in his 2009 State of the City presentation, this makes the City of Buena Park truly a city on the move. Most of Buena Park's finest were on hand for the dedication, along with family members, friends, retired career police, and others. I think it's wonderful. It's about time that uh, the department got a new building. They deserved one for many years. It uh, looks like a first-class building for a first-class police department. I'm really excited for the men and women of the police department. Well, here we are with a, a grand matriarch of the city, Mrs. Donna Bagley. Mrs. Bagley, tell me, what do you think of this new facility here? Well, I haven't seen it except from the front, but I'm delighted it's here. Twice we tried to get, get the money years ago, and I uh, I fought for it, but it didn't work. It didn't go through, and so I'm glad it's done. And it gives will give our policemen a much better facility in which to work. Gentlemen, what do you think of this new facility here for the Buena Park Police Department? Hey, the outside looks great. <laughs> yeah. I don't know what the inside looks like. Long time coming. Long, Long time. time coming. Long time it's coming. Beautiful. And um, is, do you think there'll be any love loss with the old facility? Uh, <laughs> no, there won't be any love loss. I don't think so. No. I think they'll be, uh, once they get in here, that'll be the end of it. That place was old and falling apart and small. And very small. Very small. So you, what do you think they're going to do with all the room they have here? Well, I mean, as things keep getting bigger and bigger and bigger, the population goes up, the city uh, gets bigger, they're putting in more houses, so I think we're going to grow into it. I really think they will. Definitely. Will you get a chance to go in and see it periodically? Oh, yeah, at least once a year. At least once a year. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. How about you, sir? Same thing. Yeah. Um, now, you guys, re you retired pretty recently. Was this already on the drawing boards? Did you yes. heard that it was going to happen? Yes. Did you ever believe that it was actually going to be fitted? Oh, yeah, once it was approved. Yeah, it was just a matter of it getting done. So have you have driven by here to see how the progress has been coming? I have, but it's been dramatic the last, you know, month or so with the progress, but like the other guys, I haven't been inside yet, so I don't know what the inside looks like. Will we get a chance to see it today? Yes. Right. Fantastic. Can't wait. Can't wait. Well, thank you, gentlemen, for uh, your time and your service. Thank, thank you very, very much. much. Community. Thank, right. you. thank you. Tell me, what do you think of the new facility you guys are going to be able to get into? Yeah. Well, honestly, I, I, I got to tell you, I think it's a beautiful facility. I've already been inside. Um, it's been a long time coming. I was wondering if I'd see it in my, in my career. Uh, but um, I'm very pleased that it's done and it's a state-of-the-art facility that uh, the police department the community as a whole should be very proud of. Thank you. Um, what, is, uh, what is one of the most interesting aspects of this facility that, that you think? Interesting. Well, um, as I mentioned, it is state-of-the-art, um, fully integrated. Uh, it's one of the challenges that we had in, in the old building. Our department has always been very progressive and advancing with technology has been very difficult and often hampered because the infrastructure in the old building just couldn't keep pace with the uh, advance of technology. Uh, this is not the case now. Uh, we'll be stepping into a facility that, uh, as I mentioned, is state of the art and uh, is uh, fully implementing all the technology that we are presently building. So, so this facility is fully wired into the digital infrastructure? Absolutely. Fantastic. Well, thank you very much and congratulations on your new build. Thank you. Appreciate it. Well, tell me, what do you think of this new uh, facility we've got going on? It's awesome. It's, uh, it's amazing how we had an opportunity to go inside and check it out and it's, it's a good opportunity for for us to really uh, come together and uh, especially I really 
love the uh, community center or the community room where all the communities would come in and have meetings and stuff. So it's another opportunity for the community to get together and and um, have meetings and network. So I really enjoy it. How long have you been an officer in the Winter Park Police Force? About four years. Four years? Yes, sir. What do you like the most about being an officer in, in the city of Winter Park? Um, I think for a small agency, we have a really good team. Uh, we bond together. We really uh, help each other out in, in, in difficult times and good times. And uh, just working here, it's, it's awesome. Great opportunity for everything. So. In the amber Southern California sunset that so defines Orange County, the dedication was to be a memorable event. Chief Tom Monson opened the event with several thanks to visitors. And the presentation of the colors was ushered in. Here at the city and at the police department. And I would like to welcome you and thank you all for coming here and enjoying in this rather festive occasion of opening up our new facility. Before we get started, I would like to take a few moments to give you a little background on how we got here today. When considering the construction of any capital project, funding is usually the deciding factor. And when considering the construction of a police facility, it is no different. In fact, it was recognized prior to 2001 by our city council and one of my predecessors, retired Chief Richard T. Fang that we were desperately in need of a new police facility. But at that time, funding could not be obtained, and it was not until five years later, in early 2006, that a window of opportunity occurred in which to fund this new facility.